Hi, I'm Reverend Diane from Unity of Naples. Our word yesterday in church from the Daily Word is caregiver. Love this image of the hands holding one another, clearly the hands of an elder and a younger person. And what's beautiful about this is that we have no idea what these two are going through or who's holding whose hand. If there's birth taking place or if there's death taking place, which is just rebirth. And so the question really for, to, for yesterday and today for you is what do you love? In the book, How Then Shall We Live? This is the third week. How, what you love is so critically important because what we know is that we take on the shape and the fragrance of the things that we love. That means the things that we focus on, the things we spend our time investing in, talking about, thinking about, doing. How is it that you are spending your time and your talent and your treasure? What do you love? There's a story about Galen and Zinnia who bought these Chinese teapots in China. <laughs> and they brought them back to sell because they had this legacy. These teapots have been used for hundreds of years. And it is said of the teapots that all you need to do is pour water into the pot itself and it will just make the tea. That's how it is in our lives. We become so used to treating things, thinking about things, talking about things in a certain way that perhaps that is a demonstration of what it is that we are loving. And sometimes we're loving things, giving attention to things that we no longer want to. It's kind of like checking your fragrance, your perfume, your oil. You may have resonated with it earlier in your life, but maybe it's time to just think about that again, smell it again, see if it's time to change that. And so in your life, what do you love? The invitation this week is to look at the ways that you invest your, your energy. And you can check that really easily by looking at your checkbook. What is it you're investing in? Uh, look at your calendar on your phone or your paper calendar and see how you're spending your time. Is that how you want to continue spending your time and giving your, your focus to? So attending is really important to look at. You might wanna look at your computer history and see what sites you've been looking at. What is it you're finding interesting in your life? And if you decide that, no, nah, I'm not interested in healing that process or being so involved in letting go or fixing or whatever it is that you've been habitually doing, perhaps it's time to think again, what do I love? And then just focus on those things you love, those people you love, those events you love, so that you can increase your sense of God's presence in your life. Have a glorious week. God bless.